I am delighted to introduce Ms. Frances McConville for the next topic on respectful maternity care and human rights. She is currently midwifery advisor to WHO, providing technical and policy support. She is passionate about women's rights and availability of quality midwifery care. Welcome, Ms. Frances. Hello and welcome everybody um, to this exciting and informative session on respectful maternity care and human rights. And thank you so much to the Normal Labour and Birth Conference 2020 for allowing this session with the incredible speakers that we've got. I want to start with a very brief slide from WHO um, who provide the global evidence on this topic. And just think as we go through this session about what we have achieved over the last 10 years in this area and what we could achieve by 2030 as we reach the SDGs. So first of all, very briefly, there's been a huge amount of really high quality research, some of which you will hear in this session. And we have come far in terms of framing and the terminology of what we mean by respectful maternity care. We have obstetric violence, and here you can see a paper from Latin America. We moved on to disrespect and abuse, and you can see a WHO brief on the prevention and elimination of disrespect and abuse during facility-based childbirth. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen elsewhere, but that's what that paper is about. We then have a great paper in PLOS One about the mistreatment of women. So we've moved the terminology along here um, in, in Health Facilities Global. That was no mean feat trying to bring this systematic review together and moving on to respectful care now during specifically childbirth, which is what this wonderful panel is all about. And before I move on to these brilliant panelists, I just want to let you know that Carvery Mehra, uh, who is doing her PhD in respectful care at the University of Southampton, PhD in global health, has provided us with this fabulous picture from India by Sumi Kamaka. And as you can see, this sums up so much about what has happened to women in India and around the world, the complete lack of dignity, lack of respect, and, and how she is being shouted at um, and treated. Uh, and it's terribly um, concerning that this even happens at all, this level of cruelty and stupidity, not by any health workers, but by all. There is, there is no one type of health worker uh, we can single out. And I want to mention that Carvery um, has not only worked with WHO and done a lot of international work with us, so watch that space, um, but she's going to be helping us go through the answers to some questions that we have put out uh, in a poll for you. Um, so I'm going to move on now uh, to introduce our four uh, dynamic speakers. And just to let you know that we have the most incredible span of speakers. We have a political scientist. We have a globally renowned uh, midwife researcher in respectful care. We have uh, an obstetrician, and it's always so valued to have obstetricians who really understand what we're doing um, in normal labour and birth, who is a feminist, and we have a lawyer who was working um, on human rights. So we have a fantastic range and tremendously exciting um, series of, of presentations. So um, we will move on now to each speaker and each presentation. Thank you. <laughs> 